the only the only uh, a Jewish I'm gonna say comedian I'm gonna say well not exactly the only but all right one of the people I am excluding and this video exclusively dedicated to her uh, basically from being Zio fascist and you folks don't even have an idea how difficult it is to be a Jew, Jewish in the in United either in United States of America and Israel I cannot even imagine because I've seen what Jew, what had been done to Jews in uh, in the US like right now I have browsed this uh, here this issue of Ella Emhoff uh, Ella Emhoff wanted to date me uh, the thing is that she was not my type and the thing about it is that she labeled me as a fascist as a Nazi just as Kamala Harris and her husband brainwasher basically to treat me in a moment that it became evident to her that she's not gonna make it through during MK Ultra I was a fascist I was a Nazi I was you fucking name it um but what's interesting here is she pioneered she just enthusiastically uh, raped with the issue of Zio fascism like it would be different if you would be for Israel and this and that and so on and so forth um, she is a very very pro human rights um, but in a moment when she hears the word like Israel she would take the fucking Uzi in her hands schnell fire a rifle automatic rifle whatever and would fucking cut people like fucking grass you go you cut in your yard this you this woman is what I refer to as a lunatila lunatilo lunatic she is nuts these are extremists these Jews are extremists They're so extremist that it's actually impossible to tell fanatic fanatical extremist lunatics I'm using this two examples to explain you few issues about what's like uh, in America this is a Chuck Schumer I just posted something about Chuck the third politician is about to disappear from stage is Chuck Schumer Chuck Schumer was involved in this case I don't know I was very young when he was involved in it I didn't bother to go in time uh, but I definitely was in grammar school when this guy was involved in an MK Ultra case but the thing about this is that you have no idea people under what kind of pressure this guy was yeah, this is a politician it's like a top politician in the US um, if you are a Jew in the United States of America and you are not exactly like I have stated here for Ella Emhoff a uh, man and she's so young and so fucking poisoned uh, you are just uh, the enemy of the Jewish society the Jews in the United States of America have a problem the biggest problem that gives them a problem are their own Jews Jewish community what should be otherwise Jewish community they they make them either they make you sick uh, so that you follow this type of uh, mental illness uh, and or you're simply I don't know man the world becomes I have seen it with my own eyes this stuff 
uh, they turn against you, boy, like in a, such a fucking unfriendly way. They exclude you. They exclude you from Jewish community. They fucking ban you from your family. Something that the United States government, which penetrated in all walks of life in the U.S., whether that be black neighborhoods or that be um, Hispanic neighborhoods or, let's say, reservoirs from natives, from American Indians uh, or, let's say, Amish community, they fucking penetrated through all walks of life and learn how to handle them, but they would not touch some way, somehow, this one here. They would not go into it. And when something like this takes place, uh, express a government support for the person that is distancing her from extremism, basically. That's why the United States of America reversely is becoming poisoned, extremist country. I dedicated this video to the Chelsea. Chelsea, make no mistake, pissed me off many times. Uh, I am not going to lie to you that she pissed me off. She did all kinds of stuff. Uh, some of which appeared to me that was just uh, out there, basically to waste my time. Because I was crazy about her. This is not a secret. Everybody knows that. Uh... She is also from a Jewish family, very, very, very Jewish family. And the one that wasted time, the one who wasted her and my time was actually the one who even liked me. Believe it or not, this shit is so sick. It was her father. Uh, her father, mom will let her get away with it. Mom will let her get away with it. Mom will let her... Uh, marry other guy, whatever, have a normal life, whatever, but it was the father that kept pushing her down the throat, me. Uh, and I guess things turn out well financially uh, for participating in this case, although I got to tell you that this is a very, very talented woman. This is a brilliant woman. This is an alpha female. There is absolutely no doubt about it. I know her since my childhood, um, this is just a brilliant, beautiful girl who also went on to be very strong, very self-confident since I remember her and would literally be capable out there to choose whoever, whatever, within the society she would want as a mate, whatever. And the thing about her is that uh, I had no fucking clue. I had no clue. Uh, strange, strange cookie. She tried to uh, turn me into a Zionist. She did her best to support her Jewish community in the U.S. But there is a very, very thin line between this shit. Uh, as much as the father was all obsessed with uh, Israel and uh, he is a good in a good uh, talks with the British royals from London, from Londonia. Uh, he just couldn't walk away from me at the same time. Uh, even that I was given exactly the opposite. I was given exactly the opposite feedback. I didn't want to have anything to do with this stuff. I mean, why? What? What am I going to have to do with this stuff? You know. So. Um, she could not see herself in me. Uh, it was not complete. But then at the same time, uh, she left the space open for, you know, based on what she, again, just like uh, the case of Ella Emhoff was, you know, you're a Nazi, you're a Nazi, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to date me, you're a Nazi. That's it. You're Nazi because you're Nazi because you're this, because you're white supremacist, because you're whatever, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it was sort of uh, pressure on me, but Chelsea Handler, opposed to all other Jews that I know of, would uh, leave her mind open 
about the world, about what's happening. And was actually concerned for other people, was actually concerned contrary. Uh, I think mom was very, mom was even more Jewish than father. You know, mom was the one, mom, mommy was like, uh, and Chelsea somehow did survive all this community lynching um, and did not, and did, and did not, and did, and did not. I paid a very high price for it. But what impressed me about the Chelsea was that uh, during the time that she faced like Mount Everest of pressure, and I'm never going to forget this. She did a lot of wrong things anyway, anyways, but still, uh, she always would still get back to me because uh, if there was one place that she was not rejected, at least from one boyfriend, uh, that was me. I never rejected her. Actually, I felt that the world out there is so sharky, so shitty, that she's going to get burned eventually. And she's going to learn her lesson. And once she's going to learn her lesson, that much she's going to like me more. Uh, I'm not a pushy person. I let people to research things and then basically learn on their own and get experience and then basically make the decision that's best for them. If I feel they're my feet, like, no, yeah, that's basically what I would do. I don't, I don't go and push down somebody something. I'll give you a good idea about that how I feel, see things, is, but I'm not going to go, and maybe even wrong. I'm not saying that under MK Ultra I was just, about many things I was wrong, because I had to be wrong. I had to be wrong about many things, to stay alive for one thing, and to get the thing going, to do the things I did. Um, but overall, not really. And the thing about what makes her difference from other, uh, Sarah, let's say, Silverman, Sarah Silverman, uh, all these Jewish comedians, I'm going to say. Sarah Silverman was not bad. This is another chick that, uh, these chicks are not bad to me because the thing is that I like them. So because it was because I liked them, they would not crucify me, you know. Uh, but, you know, if I, if I wouldn't like the chick, I mean, okay, I mean, this is like almost kind of universal stuff. That's true. But the thing is that um, what I was going to say, um, it's not difficult to like beautiful girls, is it? I mean, this is not really, you don't have to be no genius. I don't know what of a point I'm making out of it. Then you have this Amy Schumer, the same thing. Um, they all went into the same category. It, exactly identical chicks, like Amy Schumer and uh, Sarah Silverman and uh, I would say about this like notable Jewish chicks, American, that I would uh, actually fall for. Um... Uh, these are like these are like top chicks, like the longest involved. Like Amy, Amy was like younger. Amy is younger, but Sarah and and um, and Chelsea. Um, how old is this chick? Yeah, she's forty-two. She was involved. All these chicks were involved in my case since childhood. Believe me or not, believe it or not. Uh the thing about it is they all are from this community that I mentioned to you earlier. This this community from Ella community. And, uh, you know, understanding these issues, basically how it, it this works. I mean, um, like, for instance, I had a problem with a, with a Chelsea as much as I was insane about her. Uh, her, you know... I I wanted her to dress her as sexy, let's say, right? And uh, the mom was like, uh, you know, her mom dresses like very, very, in a very like Jewish fashion. 
uh, like in a sense, like, you know, like wealthy Jews do, basically, you know, these skirts and, you know, that kind of stuff, you know. I'm not saying I don't have nothing against mom, not father, or whatever, but, um, um, you know, Chelsea, when, when, when she was around mom, was, was also like, you know, it, it changed, I mean, it, which is fine, it's, it's okay, it's all right. It's just that, it's just that uh, I'm talking about the pressure, basically, the, the pressure, the cultural pressure that these people face that otherwise would just, uh, um, they have to submit themselves to a certain degree to this. And uh, I mean, yeah, it could be much, much worse. It could be much, much worse. When I think about the Ella, this is like, what? She's raising the cash for what? For the relief group allegedly tied to October 7 terrorist attack on Israel? Do it. Just give her a, a machine gun and send her on the front line because uh, this is like a top, top Israeli uh, commando. Uh, uh, the bullets will not stop her, basically, type. I mean, excuse me, I think she's a little bit very mentally ill. That's what I think. I think that she's not quite there in her head. I don't think she even deserves to be on a on a fucking paper, on a picture. Because in my country, in Europe, people like this are like, you're fucking listed as mentally ill if you're like this. Because they think that you're a fucking extremist, that you're mentally ill. Extremists, most of the time, are mentally ill people. Anyways. Unless they have a really, really good cause behind them, they are. Um, you know, uh, I don't think Israel has to fear from being exterminated by the Palestinian people. You know, the country with the over nuclear, 90 nuclear warheads, nuclear submarines and stuff, F-35 fighter jets and so on. With the top equipment they have, drones, all kinds of stuff. No, I don't think so. That that uh, they are under the threat. Uh, so this here clearly goes. That's why I said this clearly goes into the mental sickness issues. Uh, no way would any of these comedians here, either Amy, Amy got you. She became a really, really. She bitched me out mercilessly. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe she would let me be alive, you know, I have no fucking clue, you know, I have no fucking clue, maybe she would, I don't know, let's say, I'm thinking, if you get married to the woman like this, I feel, if you don't convert to the Jew, I think that you're dead, I think that, uh, that she will smile to you for some time, and then one time, it's just gonna be, dead, 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 dead. um, you know, Bitch you out totally to death, basically, whatever. You don't have choice other than go Jewish, basically, do this. I mean, this is the way I feel. All right, maybe with the Amy not, maybe, maybe Amy would allow me maybe to exist, to be alive, you know? Um, but let's say Sarah, you know, Sarah, that's just very, that's already closer to, to, uh, to Ella. Uh, to her, everything is logical. To her, everything is logical. And what is logical? Logical is, fuck if the, uh, I don't know. You know, I don't want to say, I don't want to put any of this in trouble. Please don't, don't get any of these girls in trouble. Uh, but, you know, the only one of these comedians that I feel would let me, let me be, and it actually allowed me, she did let me be, was... This girl here, this Chelsea Handler, because I know so, because you have no fucking idea what the hell went on since like 2015. Yeah, you have no idea during MK Ultra, during these politicians, a uh, slightest trace in any support for me. And any of my deviation that, that would deviate from official. Israeli extermination agenda of Gaza people, Palestinian people in Gaza, would be condemned with anybody that would approach to me. They, 
Forget about the Jewish community. The fucking politicians will fucking lynch you, man. They will fucking lynch you, American or, or Israeli politicians. You're fucking dead. Don't even think about it, all right? So the only way to approach me, to come anywhere close to me, was by basically completely, completely submitting yourself to official Israeli, uh, the way the Israeli government uh, demanded, you know, from you, your views, basically to be uh, views of the Israel to be imposed on me, basically pushing my head through these beautiful babes, you know? Um, maybe what's interesting is, I don't know if I'm going to find this royal guard. Uh, you see this stuff, this a lot about this. Let me see this stuff here. If this, if this this is not going to be, this is not going to do it. Well, let me see. Maybe if I can do this, will be like a really, really good example of this stuff here. Now, the girls that were involved in it, let me see if I can. Yeah, there you go. What is this here? Just so they country, all right? I take that job seriously. I like this video because you know who these girls are? Just so they country, all right? I take that job seriously. They are responsible. You see, this asleep. girl not this year, boom. This girl that you're about to see are actually relatives from M. Hoff. M. 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 Hoff. Some kind of relative. Just so they are. Country, all right. Uh, they take wow. Job seriously. They are responsible for this. Oh, oh, they are oh, no one object to ridicule. Um, appreciate you having fun. He's not having fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it became evident that's why this is perfect, perfect, perfect. It became evident in MK Ultra because you know what they were doing to me, uh, like M. Hoff, etc. You know, the Jewish politicians, like all the Jewish politicians, you know, you know what they would do to me. They would say to me, you know, oh, you don't like Jewish girls, you don't like Jewish girls, like the true, if you care. I don't give a fuck about uh, what, when I came to the United States, my life in the U.S., that's bullshit. There was a girl that I really wanted, a Jewish woman, a girl from Chicago in the building where I was, and she really wanted me. Uh, and based on this Jewish, uh, it's a bullshit. It's a bullshit. Uh, it was just another guy that got her on the hand. He fucked her 10 times, make her 10 kids, and left her with another lady. And her life was over with. And I could watch her none from the distance. That was it. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing the way they lied. Jews are the biggest liars that I have seen. And now I'm going to say to, to these uh, girls that I mentioned here, uh, just... Just leave it. Just leave this shit. This is my case. This is not your problem. That's why I'm not meddling certain people in it because you're gonna get in fucking trouble because of because of my thing, and you don't understand basically what this is about. Okay, just mind your own business. Okay, when it comes to the issues like this, don't get involved in this stuff. Uh, the thing is that the thing is that they claimed. Oh, you don't like you don't like uh, Jewish Jewish uh, uh, girls. Yeah, uh, it is true um, to a certain extent. Like let's say Chuck, Chuck, for instance, um, he's got daughters that did not appeal to me. They did not appeal to me. But yeah, of course, uh, there was many many Jewish girls that did appeal to me. This was pure, pure, pure malicious lie. All right. So it just was not my type. It just was not my type. And the the biggest damage, I think, the people who make this fucking problem in the U.S. It's the people like David Duke. People that 
make these people extremely uncomfortable with like a Nazi movement that make them feel like, uh, you know, they are like unappealing, they are like unwanted, they are like, they make uh, of their features, of their Jewish features, fun of it. And these are the people that fuck stigmatize uh, completely entire society. And the biggest problem of it is when you don't like, and I'm not going to say you don't like, what the fuck is this under MK Ultra if you like or you don't like? When you say if you like or you don't like, is basically when you meet person in real time and she or you work with one another next to one another, get to know one another, then you can decide about what the fuck you like. What the fuck is this MK Ultra, anyways? I mean, Chelsea goes into probably 1% of the females when it comes to the beauty in the US. That's a trouble for you if you are a female. If you want to be seen and you're not going to be seen. Subjecting to a, 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 a test of subjects under MK Ultra to, let's say, physical beauty, you're not going to measure. This is going to be very, very, very difficult to go and match because in every racial group, whether that be Asian group or black group or Hispanic group, there are women that are just more appealing than other women based on the physical looks, and there is nothing the fuck you can do about it. You can make me fall for you, whoever you are. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be so good looking, but there is nothing you can do about it. Uh, but you're going to say, well, it's, it's enough if you fall for me. Yeah, I mean, it is true, but that doesn't mean that I'm a Nazi. That doesn't mean that I am fascist. That doesn't mean that I am, uh, you know, wherever the fuck I am. Whatever the fuck you use to call me to profit from within uh, so that you can see yourself more than just in your society, in career, in jobs, in, uh, I don't know, loans, real estate, whatever. Uh, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Nobody needs, especially the people that are subject to MK Ultra torture, bestiality, need to see himself or herself in anyone involved in MK Ultra for that matter. You are the one that, because law prohibits torture, especially the one of MK Ultra, which is the worst torture method, is the stuff that's used in Guantanamo. It, why is it nobody talks about MK Ultra in Guantanamo and MK Ultra in Afghanistan and MK Ultra about bestial experiments they do on prisoners and stuff? This is the most torture, the most bestial methods is out there. They're only done inside of the psychiatric hospitals and with certain uh, subjects with the idea to kill people through various issues, turn people into terrorists, do all kinds of stuff like this. So, you know, um, you cannot go and change or expect people to embrace your change of the world based on some kind of views that you're just going to uh, you're just gonna do with the people, you know, denying them employment, playing with their employment, playing their, with their right, basically, because you are entitled and you can go and you are, I don't know, uh, maybe interesting case from Princess Bayre Kitiaba was interesting case, really, really interesting case. That's also going to be a very, very good case, very good example I'm going to use here in this opportunity in 2017 when I met this girl, this, uh, well, his name was, um, her name was Alexandra. Alexandra Egorova was uh, a Russian. She presented herself later as a Russian, but she really is a Jew, I told you. She was even uh, related to Benjamin Netanyahu, you know? And I found myself in Budapest applying for political asylum and dating this beautiful girl at one point and find myself next to the two girls that you see. That's basically Siri Vanavari and her sister, Princess Bayre Kiriaba, 
who suggests me uh, that's very nice, but it will not be till you find me. Wow. Okay. So the only thing you have left then is to wave goodbye to somebody you have met in real time, somebody who took effort to meet him. And you have this kind of people basically just going over the platform and just doing their basically stuff based on entitlement, the way they want, arrange your life, uh, arrange lives of others, just turn your life into literally into toilet, complete toilet, psychiatric toilet. You know, you can't you can't expect anybody to embrace this. What you can expect is whoever you're gonna do the stuff like this, unless is mentally retarded. Is going to stand up with everything he has against it. And I hope the international society will start to talk about this psychiatric problem that is going to become the biggest phenomena in our century. Even in centuries to come, as I explained, it's going to be more and more, industry is going to become more and more robotized. It's going to be more and more robotic with population in excess, in a great excess, not only in a population that is employed by uh, manufacturing industry, uh, in maybe 80% of workers in excess right now, but with a population as well. It's going to be a growing, growing problem for average human being, basically, because it's, it's the government's going to invest heavily into psychiatry, to basically in behavioral science, which is not behavioral science, but really psychiatric control. So you're going to have more and more organized crime, more and more uh, state-sponsored terrorism and all kinds of issues to be used to, um, to govern the societies. Not the society, but the global. So the societies will be capable to match one another because they have to match one another. Anything that looks irregular on the map is then the biggest threat to everybody else. I hope you understand that. It's not a problem. The whole world is insane. It's just that it's got to be the whole world if it's insane. You understand what my videos are all about? You, I'm a father, basically, of your, I'm, I'm going to say, existence, of your human rights for centuries to come, if you will exist. You will learn from my programs that you'll be watching. You're going to learn more from it. Then you're going to watch from any other crap because there was nobody out there that would stand up against this and start to fight this all kinds of oppressions that are being used to 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 destroy and they invested vastly and i managed to uh outlast them enough for you to watch this news for you to learn about this view so chelsea handler kudos to her I'm going to say, kudos to her. Oh, this here, um, they claim that I don't like Jewish women. And I told them, uh, that's bullshit. This was sometimes like in 2017, something like this. Um, this girls that you about see here, let me see this. Um, oh, there's this. Beautiful but strange name in America. Name is uh, uh let me see, let me let me think about that one. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. They're from Milwaukee area. Milwaukee, Wiki, Wick Wick. So this one here, they are from Milwaukee area, from what I remember. Um, uh, now, uh, uh, Sergey Mihailovich became so smart, boy. This guy, be this he's becoming smarter and smarter every day. Or maybe he just loves me to mention his name. Uh, anyhow, Larry Page. So he's not going to feel discriminated. News, videos, books, finance. If I piss him off, that's that's basically what I want. As much as possible before I get him to the court. As I completely roll him over. Yes. Uh, look at this. I mean, can you believe this? We don't even have a map I could use here. And this was one of the things Sergei threatened me. It's going to be, ah, it's going to be, 
We are, you know, you're gonna be, you're not gonna have a map. If you're gonna see, we're gonna see. You've been doing this. You've been doing that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, frankly, I don't care because <laughs> I'm making it without map. Uh, Sergey did not stop short with 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 this. Sergey went on to shit. Look at that. Sergey is for real. Uh, he went on to threaten that everything that I see that and so on that this is oh there you go downtown Milwaukee it's good we're gonna do downtown Milwaukee I'm not used to this but hey why not it's an empire of the Sergey he said and you're gonna see they're gonna take from me Google and blogger and and uh, YouTube and then it's not gonna be nothing for you and so on la 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 yep a question of egg and chicken comes to life so this would be milwaukee that would be not too far from a chicago uh, area um i think i think it would be something like this that these girls are from i think uh, what's interesting about it doesn't matter really where they are from but i think it was something this here milwaukee area i think at least i think um i still think it was something with the milwaukee or pittsburgh Pittsburgh or Milwaukee, something like this. It doesn't matter. Um, you know what Emhoff told me? He said, but you don't like the Jewish girls. He doesn't like the Jewish girls. He became like my lawyer during MKUltra. Eh, he knew more about me than what the fuck I knew ever. Would you imagine this? I was like, really? And he was like, he was talking to other politicians, whatever. Yeah, he doesn't like Jewish girls. And well, I mean that was new to me, but all right. I mean, let's see, let's hear what he's gonna say. It was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, yeah, you don't like Jews, yeah, you don't like Jewish girls, yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Yeah, and I said, yeah, yeah, please go on. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Uh, you don't like Jewish girls. You don't like Jewish girls. You don't like Jewish girls. Oh, I like this. This nanny was also involved in it. Let me see. Since I use that voice right now, I let me see this one here. The nanny, ah, uh, she was also involved in it. Yeah, yes, I was crazy about her too. No, 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 fuck no. This was a, such a pain. It was such a torture. What a crap, man. Uh, with this Jewish woman, it was nothing other than flirting and long hours based on total sleep deprivation, stress and torture. Stress and torture, and all based on sleep deprivation and bullshit. You're not Jewish and so on, you hear, you know. And if you would go and you would say, oh, well, baby, do you want, do you want me, and do, do, you, do you want, and so on. Uh, it, it would never be the answer given. It would be just more flirting and more bullshit and other people will pop on a picture and the sessions would get low, longer and bloodier, basically. I felt if they tried to fucking, not gonna say kill Christ in me, okay, trying to be diplomatic about it, avoid Christ, when you're around Zionism, don't go Christ. No, no, in America not allowed Christ. No, 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 they hate Christ. Uh, if they, they if the Jews hate anything, they hate Christ more than what you can possibly imagine. Listen, I am not blaming them for it. Due to the crusades and all kinds of shit, persecution that went on, I don't like uh, people being fucked over uh, in the name of uh, any kind of stuff. You know, I'm more like uh, I, I I see person as a person. I don't swear any kind of religion. Um, I don't even go to the church look myself. I'm just open to uh, to the people, basically to understand people. What is it? 
Uh, but this, these are like completely computerized, automated, like machines, basically. Tuk, 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 tuk. They already know how they're going to uh, decimate you, you know, chop you, basically. So you're going to, uh, you know, fit their agenda best, you know. Um, so... Nothing ever, extremely, extremely, extremely disappointing stuff. Nothing would come true. And what Emhoff did is like, all of a sudden he had his Jewish buddies uh, suggesting me, well, we're going to give you one more chance, you know? And I was like, really? Really? I'm going to get one more fucking chance? And so they, they, they started really to profile my taste. They, they started to profile my taste, you know, for the women. And my taste was, uh, I, I really have a very, very specific taste for the women. I am, I don't know, I have my fucking taste, basically. I develop my own taste for the women, for the, for the, for the women, basically. Um, it's actually, when I look at the women... But this, this is not possible to resist, really. But my taste for the woman, it's kind of like what I figure out today when I suggest it for the Chucky here. Uh, it would be like uh, something like <laughs> what the hell is um, it would be something like you would get out of this guy, let's say, something, even something like, um, a more like brunette style, uh, but not necessary, no, they, they, they even have blondes and they even have black women like this, and they had Asian woman, uh, it's just, uh, uh very, very specific. One time I'm going to take time to, to demonstrate you basically what I, I kind of prepared as a females and so on. And so uh, he said to me, Emhoff said to me, well, you know, we, we're going to give you one more chance, you know. I said, I said, really, you know, and I was like, fuck, nah. I said to myself, you have a fucking millions of this Jewish woman out there and you're fucking choosing women that I don't like, basically. Next to the models, there's like fucking ocean of the models, women out there that are crazy about me. So the troublemaker, without difficulty to tell, was a Jew in my case. And the Jew became a troublemaker since, since my childhood. They were doing their problems to for this case to fall apart, to stall one, to destruct one, to, uh, you know... And it was not even about the women. This is about the Jewish supremacy. Because there was a load of Jewish women that I would I said yes. It was not this was not about me being problematic or women or whatever. Were well, you gonna fucking tell me that uh, you're gonna somebody that you're supposed to you own half a trillion dollar in this case? This was according to the words of these politicians. The money amounted. Their debt they pledged to. Claim during MK Ultra they owe me. You're going to fucking tell the guy like this. that Here. Here's the woman for you. You think so? That you're going to go and you're going to fucking tell somebody who have a lot of money. That he is to marry certain women. That this is it. That this is the way it is. I don't think you're going to find a guy like this anywhere in the world. <laughs> this is like bullshit. This is like you you take a paper and you write on that paper uh, half a trillion dollar. Uh, you handshake the guy and you push him. Uh, I don't know, Ella Emhoff or whatever. Simple as this. And you say congratulations. You you made it. You succeeded in life. That's it. That's the climax of the world. The next thing you do is you take the machine gun and go to the Israel you're going to help us exterminate people or you're going to start to whatever Ella is going to become director of your company, whatever, guide you through your life. And 
You know, I don't think so. I don't think so. I did not. I wasn't born for that. I did not imagine my life to be like this. And why would I? Why would I? Because of other people they have done? Because of other weak, crazy, ill people? I would do the same thing? I would repeat the same thing? No. I don't like Jews so much. I don't like anybody so much that I would go and just view life basically the way through some kind of brainwash basically and just function um, exactly I, as I suggested you the other day for this monkey cuties. The Princess Bairikiti Bairi Abba suggested me that I am like functioning like this. Uh, not exactly. Not exactly. I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think that I that I function like like uh, like this. I don't think so. I don't think that I that I function like this. They wanted me to feel like that I function like this. They wanted me to feel like I respond to human uh, initiation. They wanted me. They wanted to create in me some kind of a paranoid. Uh, personality that is all the time afraid basically under the pressure responding to the pressure basically being questioned his actions I don't I don't respond to this you know I don't I don't do this so this is what 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 all these people this this professors and all this stuff they miscalculated I don't do that kind of stuff it's a cute joke it's nice very nice, but you got the wrong person. You have to find somebody who is smarter. You have to find somebody that's more suitable, that fits more to your personality, your intelligent quotient, uh, your your physique, your strength, your mental, because this is what makes human being. That's why also I don't believe in Einstein's. What makes human is a physical and mental strength. It's a combination of it all. And next to that, it becomes all other issues that, you know, so I don't, I don't respond. I run my life. I'm in control of my life. I enforce my life the way I want, and I will not allow anybody to, I'm 52, and it doesn't matter how much crime you impose against me, you don't fucking go into that kind of, nobody does this to me. Nobody does this to me. They do this to King Charles. They did this to Prince William. That's how they find him, Kate. They did it to the Prince Harry. But you don't fuck here. You don't do this here. Here, you do not do this. You, what, what you do here, you respond, basically. You interact with whatever I feel and whatever you feel, what we might be, whatever, match whoever with whomever, but you don't enforce this kind of, you nobody enforce here anything, you don't do this here. I know that these are very, very harsh words for Prince Charles, now King Charles. Um, he keep asking me, well, well, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? And my ex-wife was, who do you think you're a king? Do you think you're a king? No, I'm no, I'm no king. I don't think of myself nothing much. I'm nothing special. And that's actually what makes me so dangerous in the eyes of these people. I'm just a regular person. But you try to fuck, and you're going to see. It hurts. Well, so, uh, M. came to conclusion that he's going to give me one more chance. And voila. It was very close, very close to this year. Um, I appreciate what you're having fun. He's not having fun. He's got a long day. There's a lot of hours he's got to do. He is tiring, exhausted. So they based, they based on my taste, preference for the females, they went on to browse all the, the, the community, the Jewish community. No. This is what makes it fucking crazy, all this stuff here. This is what makes it fucked up about this stuff here. This is what makes it, uh, this one here that's that's in this pink clothes, this rosa clothing here that you see. This is what makes it fucked up. Right. This, stuff. Uh, this is what makes it fucked up. Let me, let me do this stuff one more time. Uh, this is the thing. 
uh, this is what makes it fucked up about this. They cut 99% of the Jewish community out, and they have selected these girls based on relations with the politicians. Only if you were a politician, Jew, uh, prominent enough, uh, in that case, they will look for your relatives that would fit into the category of my preferences. And voila, that's it. Your last chance. Uh, what you see here, I still think, are children. <laughs> These are children to me. It, it looks like children. Uh, when I recall this shit that you see here, in, at the Buckingham Palace, that it took place, it wouldn't take only with this one. Uh, it, uh, it, it would Frequently, you would have American Jews that would go and entertain using me. And you would have Israelis even coming straight here. And in a total arrangement with the British guards, with the British Royal Guards, they would orchestrate through the list of the incidents that they would portray me like a racist, demanding from guards to kick them out and so on. Uh, orchestrate incidents to remind me about what happened and went on to post on like this on a videos about how they they're being harassed by the royal guards and so on uh, all these royal guards wherever you see the incident taking place with the jews always were always in agreement with jews were always in agreement this is also what exposes the link between 1-800 London Cabal, Israel itself, and even American Jews. I would really, 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 I'm not going to say Americana, but I'm really going to say Zeofascistana. This is a really, really Zeofascism you see right there. And it's, oh my, I don't know how old the girls were when they did the first time this, whether this is the old video recording of it, uh, that would trace sometimes to 2019, I would say. Uh, and or is it a new video recording? I don't know. The problem is that it's difficult to discern during MK Ultra the age of the people involved in it. Uh, I was willing to uh, smash the ladies that were uh, 70 years old during MK Ultra, and I was willing to smash. Uh, the girls that were like, I don't know, 10 years old, 8 years old during MK Ultra, because I did not fucking know what the hell went on till they actually demonstrate you, if they ever demonstrate you on the first place. Some ladies, such as is, let's say, uh, I don't know what is this, a uh, Polish lady in uh, the USA, um... Um, what is her name already? Uh, it is uh, it, uh, and by the Martha Stewart, right? Like Martha. I'm just using this as an example. She's 82 now. Damn it! Uh, I would go and flirt with her. And maybe this is what this old, older, I'm gonna say, milf liked it. This kind of stuff. Because they managed to, uh, this is also this girl here that was naughty, became naughty, this the little exploiter here. She did this to me too. And I didn't mind because I was in so much trouble with the psychiatric stuff. I didn't even mind her to date black guys, whatever, whatever she was up to. And I knew what she was using me for. But this is what this would do. And then it would be a Snoopy Snoop, let's say, that would snoop there. Snoopy dog. Wow, wow, let's say. And, you know, they would have a good time, basically. You know what I mean? Then you would have a Snoopy Snoop. And all of a sudden, it would be Snoop with a Snoop. Uh, I didn't get any, but Snoop did. And so, you know, the thing is that during MKUltra, this is different 
it, it's a totally different thing. So I am not going to go and cast here about what, who did, but this is highly criminal. This is illegal. Uh, it's really a slender of, uh, the, you know, you destroy a public image of someone and, you know, uh, in a police officer was involved entire what you see is a tourist right there. Israel, they work like a gangs. They hijack people by involving 10, 20, 30, 40 tourists at the time. The whole fucking cloud with the people from the area they make uh, agreement with when they're going to pay some kind of visit and so on. And people only they simply disappear without anybody knowing any trace, whatever. They go with somebody and it's like, you know, I've seen that stuff. I tested it. I've seen it when I traveled to Belarus in 2017, how it went. Uh, when you had Israelis flood Eastern Europe, uh, anywhere from Poland to Ukraine to Belarus. Something I've seen over the years already before. Experience especially happens when you have some kind of high state officials that you have. You have a lot of undercover agents and you have people from all walks of life. You're not going to have only Israelis, but all of a sudden you're going to you're going to have uh, British do the same thing. You're going to have all kinds of people. All of a sudden they appear in the city. Some some somebody's going to come from I don't know what countries they come, but they work like this. They're on a pay scale of exactly what I stated you. Certain political systems basically how they operate. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm well way too familiarized with government procedures in the background, how they enforce them, how they do, what type of operation. I can, I can describe you absolutely for every government operation that is out there, the way they run in the background, just like a Central Intelligence Agency agent would. Almost kind of, almost kind of, with the exception of, um, you know, whatever modernized weapons they have. But the stuff that I know about these things is quite, quite impressive. It's none of this stuff written on the internet. You're not going to find whatever you're going to go. Uh, you're not going to find what what I was going to finish with with Chelsea, and this is kind of dedicated to Chelsea. Don't uh, put her in the same category because uh, I got upset already with it. But what impressed me about the Chelsea is. Um, so, just before I move on, so that was the only way, that was Jews, basically. That was Jews, that's it. 1% of the Jews, not even this, is that apply to my case. 99% not. Only if you're a politician, only if you're a politician, so then you figure out, you figure out how this goes, how they, what means to like and what means not to like, basically. They want to use people for their own agenda completely. They just don't let anything to waste. They will not allow you to marry even a regular Jewish girl uh, when they need you for something that they're going to have a benefit. You're fucked. You're, you're, you're fucked. Your life, your life is to the hell with it, man. Um, uh, this Chelsea Handler, uh, what impressed me about Chelsea is that she was under the pressure like you would not believe. And contrary to all the women involved in MK Ultra, she started to, uh, I frankly, I she's got a really some balls. She's got guts because she went on to to when they when they already told her about this agreement and this and that, she would tell them, "No, I will not do this. Uh, I will simply be here for him. I will simply." follow up through for him uh, and I will not give him any kind of conditions in respect to Gaza and in respect to Palestine. That means that she completely completely declined the extermination procedure that we see have taken place in Israel. But this is already since 2014 and that's what makes her actually in my eyes even as impressive. It was the only Jewish woman uh, any woman all the women, not even Jewish, all these girls from wherever, they were totally complacent in uh, with their politicians in respect to ethnic cleansing. 
when it comes to Palestinian Gazan people. All of them. None. Ukrainian completely, completely complacent with their politicians in respect to Gaza, in respect to uh, Palestine. They were so scared like a shit because of the Russian invasion. Polish, the same thing. German, the same thing. Italian, the same thing. N not Italian, not exactly the same thing. It was something in Italy that I sensed that people did not like the idea about the ethnic cleansing in Palestine. I will say this. I will say this. And also in France, French also did not like this idea about the massacre that is going to take place against Palestinian people. They were also concerned about this stuff. Um, but it was really easy with British, with Americans. Uh, Hollywood, fucking scary, beyond, beyond beliefs. With, uh, with, uh, with this guy, with, uh, with this rock, Dwayne Johnson. They would have uh, both uh, during MK Ultra in front of females. Uh, and would terrorize the females like he managed to corner and terrorize into complete submission uh, this uh, 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 actress model uh, whose uh, father is Palestinian and so on even even this he managed to, to intimidate to harass with his muscles with his presence with his masculinity uh, this is a fucking terrorist this is a fucking terrorist. Tough boy. She resisted all with simply saying that she will not condition me this, uh, that I should be for the Israel, but uh, that she will that she will put up with me whatever decisions I'm gonna make, which is insane. Which, 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 for the community, for the community I described earlier, is like completely, completely, completely insane. So this is about as good the fuck as it gets in a Jewish world in the United States of America. It doesn't get any better than that. That the girl would actually put up with my shit is unheard of. Uh, for the Russian, for the Belarus, I even dated uh, Babe over there in in Vitebsk one time and. Uh, um, I don't blame it, you know, I don't blame it, man. Uh, you get under the pressure from your community that is so fucking immense that uh, it's actually impossible to handle. It doesn't have to be your community because it's about the fucking politicians who meet frequently in the background. You know, I saw this video here about um, Charles basically visiting. St. Petersburg, uh, we're meeting with Vladimir Putin in 1994. Uh, little known, Vladimir Putin shows Prince Charles around St. Petersburg. Uh, usually, this is, this is even from the mainstream media perspective, from the brainwash perspective. It's actually really, it's not even properly titled a video, you know. The properly titled video would be uh, the first official, like, like, like here, like, like, like this shit here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is nice. All right. This was 2003 when you see Putin visiting London, let's say. Yeah. And now you're going to see, you're going to see Putin in London. All these ladies were involved with it. I hope I will get some comment because what they do is they usually say the first official visit of uh, blah 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 in such and such country. You know this one. You know the 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 first official visit of the blah blah blah, blah, blah. and the first official visit at blah 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 blah. Uh, uh, first official visit at whatever or whoever. You know the first official visit. The first official visit. They say first. The first official, uh, the first official visit, yeah. It's your first fucking official, yes. But not unofficial. 
they 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 told me during MK Ultra, they told me about MK Ultra. It's all, uh, it's true. We are not lying, because I told them, what the fuck are you saying that you were not over here or you were not over there? Whoever person I was talking to interacted with that during MK Ultra, and they said we're not lying. It was first official, official. So how much is it for the people that watch this Western mainstream media makes the difference for you to actually watch this stuff and or understand truly about what is happening? Uh, this stuff is being used to forge history. This is forgery of the history because it doesn't tell really about it's being it's actually used to adverse to reverse to manipulate and direct events, the historical events, uh, in a direction when whichever those that pull at the top of this pyramid pulls its strength. Not even the governments have ability, certain governments, if they're not always the government that is at the top of the world, really the government that is um, deciding about it all. I think that you can't go further from Britain because the United States of America is totally submissive in front of the British politics. I think that, that Britain is the one that enforce, is enforcing, is pulling these this strings, and it's the rest of the world, Germany, and the rest are just basically simply jumping accordingly with it and uh, extort, blackmail other countries through cooperation into submission or that type of politic. So you, you're always going to have, you know. Um, so this is what makes Chelsea Handler exclusive. And yeah, I took, I took uh, this energy to explain myself, why she's so different why it makes her different and how much different you as a Jewish person within the Jewish community in the United States of America, God forbid in Israel, uh, how far, how much you can be, okay? How much human basically you can be, how much can you be, how much human can you be uh, when it comes to uh, the issues like this. In other words, how much is still left out there from the United States of America? <laughs> that's what it comes to. Uh, that's what it all breaks down to. Uh, I was wrong. Her mom is more Jewish than, than father. Her mama is more um, uh, completely um, kosher and, you know, all that Jewish uh, fine style. This is more like so... I thought this would be an interesting issue because I did accent certain people how they were used, so I wanted to clarify this stuff. I wanted to I wanted to clarify basically how things in the United States of America are for people to understand and why things are like this. The fact of the matter is that a cooperation between neo Nazi movements, you're talking about Anglo Saxon German uh dutch scandinavian movement uh and jewish zionist movement uh, irrefutably approves for that movement coordinate completely coordinated the, basically the movement which they coordinate through the jews through the equal employment Opportunity Commission owners, uh, absolutely, absolutely is uh, existing. It absolutely exists. It's out there. It's indisputable. Um, what it means for the people to, I'm going to say, stall um, this type of uh, movement. Uh, it is basically only
there's only basically one way. Uh, and uh, I'm going to explain to you also what it means for the world. Uh, the, the only way, basically, to, to take care of this problem is literally ban Jews from the Holocaust cause. Uh, once you once you ban Jews from the Holocaust cause, uh, once you ban Jews from the Holocaust cause, yes, what do you read right there? Israel legitimizes killing of Gazans by comparing Hamas to Nazis. You have a, we have a complete, complete right to ban Jews from the Holocaust cause. Once you're going to ban Jews from participating in Holocaust cause, and you will equal extermination of the Palestinian people with a neo-Nazi movement, with a German neo-Nazi extermination uh, movement during the World War II. Uh, the only thing that will happen is... Uh, the Jews no longer will have that holy privilege to position themselves through the Holocaust into the role of a main negotiator, main broker of the human rights issues that pertain to the human rights issues on behalf of the neo-Nazis. In that moment, when you're going to do this, you're going to reach what is known... I'm going to do a little Einstein here. You're going to do... It's, it's, it's a stronger theory. It's a real, by, made by the real person. In that movement, you're going to have a real ground zero. In that movement, when you accomplish banning Jews from the Holocaust, once you equal extermination procedure against the Palestinian people, against Gazan people, uh... You're going to equal one with the atrocities of the neo-Nazi Germany during the World War II, Adolf Hitler, which is a simple, simple thing to do, what I stated, a really easy thing to do. In that moment, you're going to reach this, you're going to reach ground zero. That means you will stall all the wars that are bound to happen in this world. And Chuck Schumer not the first person who participated with Anthony Blinken in what you have. We have recently seen Henry Kissinger and many others were always present during war operations throughout the world. Uh, whatever those conflicts from Vietnam to Korea to uh, Iraq, Iran, uh, I should say, in Libya and Syria and wherever around the world the conflicts have taken place uh, and very, very assistant when it was not convenient for them, were always participating, were always part of the administration, meaning that the United States of America government, neo-Nazi movement in the rear, did not use Jews only for the purposes of equal employment, the so-called the so-called Equal Employment Opportunity Commission issues, but they also Jews also brokered wars. They positioned themselves also through the Holocaust cause, also in a front line right in front of the uh, wars, in front of the uh, bombing campaigns, which are, which are wherever those took place around the world, whatever that might be the case. Um, so you always had this, you always had this element uh, that gave these people uh, to hide themselves behind uh, and but basically lead this bombing campaign using them. And so what that means is that you would stall wars. That means that you would you would stop a lot of problems that goes on. Uh, it's not social engineering. It's something else that goes on uh, throughout the United States of America and also around the world. That means the world would come more to terms, to peace, uh, which terms, which peace agreement treaties, which the world brokered 80 years ago. Uh, so the world will become again more like a world, would get more like a human face. 
uh, you, whatever you are from, would again see yourself in a mirror like a human being, as it should be, and would not take sides through, you know, Jewish provocations like those in Gaza, where they would have their reporters walking the streets of Gaza in West Bank, East Bank, asking Palestinian people what they think about the Adolf Hitler and stuff like this. Everybody has a right to participate in a Holocaust cause. Nobody has the right to exclude anybody from the Holocaust cause. Uh, Jews are exactly doing with assistance of their masters, uh, exactly since the beginning of the time they're doing this stuff. They continue to do exactly what I exposed in this video. So that's why it's time to do this video because I know that on a long term are going to benefit humanity. When humanity reaches agreement to ban them from the Holocaust, to equal Palestinian extermination of the Palestinian people, genocide against the Palestinian people with crimes those of Nazi Germany, the wars are going to come to an end. The world becomes a step closer with one another. We will work again for the peace. As for long, Israel will exist as it is now. It will be blood that will be running in, in it will be a blood river that will be, it will be running from north to south, from south to north, from east to west, west to east. The world eventually will detonate itself because Jews don't have plan to stop wars at any time soon. They want Sinai, Egypt, and beyond once they're gonna get Sinai, and they want Syria, and they want borders all the way to Iraq as soon as possible. This is the country they're never gonna stop till it's gonna swallow the whole world. They're not gonna swallow the whole world. It's the sooner the, the Israel is going to be stopped, the better and safer the world, because this is the most extremist country in the world. They will never, ever stop. By doing what I stated, you place Jewish state Israel in financial crushers. You block the military support. Uh, and you basically place them in the same group of people as to which should pertain to all other groups of people in earth. Amen. I don't have anything else to say. I don't see these people being so special about it. They have their homelands, and they are respectfully liable for whatever actions, crimes, or whatever uh, are taking place in their countries. Uh, they must be held responsible for it. They must be held responsible for it. And every American has the right to see himself or herself as an American, as the one who have equal rights to participate in the world of American affairs, as to any other racial or ethnic group. No group should take charge, lead, uh, in, you know, organizing, bossing American society uh, on how it shall be and this and that and so on. Uh, it just does not work. It just does not work that way. This is just this is just not all right. It's not okay. It's wrong, and the world must stand up together with whatever is left of America to stop this before it's going to get all too late for the world. They are up to no good. They never were up to any good. They were not interested in becoming part of other nations. They look forward to look different, and it makes sense. If you ask me, they learned it's their tradition. They wanted to do it this way. It's profitable, uh, but the time is coming when the world is going to have to make a decision or whatever is left out of the world before it's going to get worse, because if it's not going to, if it's not going to stop this now, if it's not going to stop this now, the world eventually will blow itself up. Israel will not stop. Israel will not stop. I will, I will end with the words glorifying Israel the way Benjamin Netanyahu, the way Mr. Knesset 
would want me to action to you the people of the world the israel will not stop the israel will not stop with this fucking alarm right there that's already bad enough Let me see if I can find this girls that are two sisters. Um, Gigi Hadid, her name is Gigi Hadid. He fucking intimidated Gigi Hadid for what I really got angry with it. Uh, talking about the rock Dwayne Johnson and uh it was through the u.s government through the through the joe biden's donald trump's and so on it must stop this kind of stuff must stop and the israel must be positioned in the same group as in a group of crimes extermination genocide procedure as those that apply to uh neo-nazi germany palestinian people i'm gonna have to tell you something when I, if they ask you, they approach to you, whether you're Arab or wherever you are, it's not your duty to see yourself in Adolf Hitler. It's not your duty to, to side with the Nazism. It's not your duty to, to side with those that were trying to exterminate you due to your racial background, due to your uh, facial, physical characteristics. Hitler exterminated the Roma people at large. Out of Hitler exterminated, had a plan to exterminate absolutely every Egyptian, every Arab from the face of the earth. This is not your, your duty because of the state of the Israel, because of the Israeli, because there's a Zion fascism, because of Zion Nazism. This is not your duty to take sides when it comes to Adolf Hitler and Nazi party. You do have the right to participate in a Holocaust just like everybody else has. And nobody has the right to detach you away, to push you away, to, to subject you to all kinds of mistreatment, to depict you as, uh, as it fits its agenda while mass slaughtering you. Nobody has the right to do that kind of stuff. You're going to see the videos here. This professor, you're going to see what's involved in it. I can actually already publish this stuff. Um, but I, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to spoil, uh, sort of spoil the link. What the hell, why not? And uh, I'm going to put this here. And we're going to do this. We're going we're gonna to put this to draft like this. So I already turned into draft, so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a difficult thing. Um, this here about the Sylvester Shalom, this is this is I think this is the most pathetic individual in the world. I've not seen more pathetic people than, than the people like Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't give a fuck about these people. These people have no touch with reality whatsoever. These are the fakest people. I've not seen people more fake than Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. How the fuck these people participated in it, seeing themselves as something in this world in front of me, I do not understand, man. Uh, you can't be fucking real, but comparing yourself with someone, you being fed with a silver spoon, with a golden spoon, uh, promoted through the creature that you're using actually for your promotions to advance yourself uh, and then issue statements to the world about your might, about your views, about your uh, how it shall be so that it will be successful in this. And come on, man. You're the most unrealistic, the fakest people that I have ever known of. Despite your muscles, despite your steroids, whatever you're using, proteins or wherever, it's... Uh, it's unrealistic. Too much. I do take, um, you know what, I would take advice from you, if you are a real person, but that you're going to fucking tell me about the life 
what life is, you're fucking nuts, Schwarzenegger. And your motivational speech, Sylvester Stallone, you're going to talk to me about the life. You don't fucking know anything about life. You don't know nothing about how the life hits you. And you have to get up and do and stuff like this. You don't fucking know anything. And whoever is going to listen to you will never, ever see himself in my program, in the stuff I have created for the people to stay alive. Because it takes much more. If I acted like Schwarzenegger or as a Stallone, I would not last three fucking days. Because the whole program was designed on making me, suggesting me to become like Schwarzenegger, like Sylvester Stallone, like I don't know who the fuck. And for one thing, I never ate any steroids, never ate any kind of proteins, never drink, never smoke. For number two, if I would do stuff like this under the circumstances I was in, I wouldn't last three fucking days. Imagine that you train. Imagine that you do all this stuff. And nothing other than the problems are following up. Everything that you open, everything that you touch turns into a dust. You soon become a terrorist, angry boy that ends up within three fucking days shooting, killing somebody, something. My friends, life is much more than Hollywood. Life is much more than lies. Life, you have to live to know what the life is. And to live the life, sometimes in my life, in my case, I had to most of the time respond like a mentally retarded person to the real issues just so that I stayed alive. Brooks, um, there is this. Being Israel has night. a fascism problem. It is hurting not just the thousands. Dad, and one day I asked, uh, did we have any Zani? To this individual here, who will explain to you what it was like in Iraq, where he had to run from to stay alive. He is a Jew. You're going to listen to what Jews did when it comes to the terror, when it comes to the terrorism, to understand what the Jewish state Israel was founded based upon. So that's going to actually really, really help you to understand the phenomena of the Jewish terrorism, of the neo-Nazi terrorism, of the new, of the new neo-Nazi threat we are again, we, the humanity, are again facing with. The biggest problem with this neo-Nazi threat is that the Polacks, Ruskis, Ukrainians, Croats, Slovenes, Serbs, Bulgarians, whatever, who, whomever Hitler attempted to exterminate, he would exterminate entire Eastern Europe. Don't fucking worry about it. It was just about the systematic procedure. But the biggest problem with these fucking politicians they have is that they, 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 they will go and they will insist you. They will say, well, but you know, no, none of our politician does anything. You know, thanks God we have a Jew, you know. We have these Jews that still remind us of the, or still remind the world of the Holocaust. You know, you don't even know where the fuck we would be if it wouldn't be for the Jews. Jews hold Nazis back. Jews don't hold anybody back. Jews are in complete agreement with the Nazis, provenly through this case, are in complete agreement with the Nazis. And German, frankly, doesn't give a fuck about your episodes about the Jews. He doesn't care about your schizophrenic approach toward international jury. You can pretend you don't see one. You can pretend they benefit you. You can pretend whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't matter to him because he gets the job done through them. You understand? He gets the job done through them. So he again is sitting at top of the pyramid using a particular certain ethnic group to get the job done. A group, actually, that you don't even have a guts there to confront, uh, to, to go about. Uh, and he's getting the job done, man. He is enforcing his plan. He's doing the stuff. And like I said, it, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to him whether you want whatever the fuck you want, whichever way the fuck you want. 
What matters to the neo-Nazi movement is that you don't see yourself in yourself. And these are the weak politicians that we have that are doing absolutely everything possible for our nations throughout is this weak, mentally retarded politicians that we have, corrupt criminals, for us to not see ourselves in us alone. They, they are not even aware. These are more like animals, these politicians. They're like, 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 you know, if the Jews say that, uh, you know, that uh, Gentiles, uh, I didn't use the word goyim, I used the word Gentile. Uh, I'm more like uh, in this world to serve their purposes. The, the politicians that we have, basically, this is like, like you would fucking release, really, as swines or cows on the field in a fence, and you would let them fucking eat over there. Uh, so that you could do your stuff basically around, you know what I mean? These people are not even three quarters fucking aware about what goes on. As the politicians, the people that decide about our state affairs, and we do have a Jew. We have a Jew in London. We have a Jew in Washington D.C., and we have a Jew in Moscow. We have Jews from Moscow to Washington D.C. and London where they handle state of affairs completely, or am I going to say, and or on behalf at the state. They handle the state of affairs. Such is the nature of the Vladimir Putin alone. For the war we see is taking place in Ukraine, the massacre we see in Ukraine, it is unheard of something like this to ever happen in the history of the Slavic people. So I'm going to say, Jews do it better. I have to be a little bit humorous. We have to spice it up a little bit. Uh, maybe that's going to help curl those retarded, degenerated, dead brain cells, brain curves, I should say. Maybe that's going to motivate them a little bit, to twist them a little bit. Because we have, we have shit. We don't have a human beings. We have a shit atop of running our political world of affairs. We don't have people. We have a human shit. We have a dunk. We have a smell. We have, we have a fucking smell. Like, like uh, Gnoinitsa. Like you would have like a diarrhea sitting inside of the parliament. We have a fucking diarrhea sitting all over the place, including inside of the United Nations. So these people, these corpses, they sit there just basically to stink. Basically, they get paid to stink, basically. So the truth would not enter Sejm, let's say Polish Sejm, parliaments and so on. They sit there like a fucking dunk and they stink. So the truth, you know, the truth, the truth, not only that you cannot file the complaint about it's not fucking discrimination procedures, it's a fucking extermination procedures. Could not enter those premises in Strasbourg, let's say, yeah? Court for Human Rights and this and that. Eh? How about Brussels over there? In Brussels, European Parliament, we have a corpse, it's basically the sit and they are paid basically to sit and stink. And the more you stink, just keep fucking stinking until you fucking stink the whole world. We have shit. We don't have people. We have shit, basically shit. They are demonstrating us on a radio, on the internet, on, on, uh, on uh, whatever, whichever way you turn, basically. They pay you, basically, to, for you to see this congested media, selected Western world of media, Western world of lies and dementia, basically. They get, they get paid, basically. It, it breaks down through the so-called journalists, and it breaks down through the police. Police assigned cases ahead of crime, even, that take place. This is what the police is doing. They investigate stuff that doesn't even take place yet. And of course, we have a psychiatric, like, you know, like a factory, basically, like a total, total factory process. And we have this final destination, which is like, a, like, a, like a, it's called Department of Psychiatry. This is basically where they give pills to the people to, to kill the people, to bring you people, to 
to, to have people fail, their livers, their kidneys, and so on, to basically disintegrate them as fast as possible. It's like a fucking assembly car, car line or something like this. You go in a final stage, you go on a dumpster where they cut the cars, compress the cars into, uh, you know, I don't know how you say that. You, know, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? So this is what our societies have become. And uh, it's about to become worse because there's going to be more people unemployed. It's going to be more robotized industry. And these sectors will be flourishing. And the worst will be flourishing. The worst will be flourishing. The Israel will be flourishing. More problems will be necessary. More wars will be necessary. China is a big problem because China is trying to make things affordable for everybody. China became a super power, number one power in manufacturing industry. I wish India would listen what I say. I wish India would listen what I say. And by making things affordable for the poor people anywhere in the globe, uh, possible for people to concentrate on education, on prosperity, it just doesn't fit into the agenda of more wars, more, more, more evil, more problems. Yeah, you understand the song. You understand the song the way they're running. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, so. Uh, Uh, this was recorded on March the 17th, 2024, and I'm really, really trying to do my best uh, to wake you up so that you can take steps before it gets too late. Take Israel off the Holocaust. Ban Israel from the Holocaust. Ban the Israel from the Holocaust. You must ban Israel from the Holocaust. And you must acknowledge extermination of Palestinian Gazan people with crimes that pertain to the neo-Nazi Germany. Jews will protest to this issue. They will talk about the Grand Mufti and I don't know what the fuck. And I'm going to tell them, use the videos where they have asked you on streets of Palestine all over the place, what do you think about Adolf Hitler? Use them because they're engaging in you against you in ex extermination, in a genocide already, since the Israeli state was established. It's not okay to ask people who are doing a crimes like this to take sides in the biggest criminals that the world have ever seen, such as Adolf Hitler. Stop it. Stop it now. Stop it now, or Israel will terminate the whole world. The world is going to blow itself up.